Okay, so we're going to look at the um, beginning of the cell wall structure of a bacteria. Uh, and the primary material that builds uh, the unique cell wall of a bacteria versus, say, the cell wall of a plant, which is made up of cellulose, uh, is material called peptidoglycan. Right, so break down that name even just really quickly. Glycan referring to sugar, peptide obviously referring to amino acids uh, or a, a polypeptide. So we're going to start off with the glycan part, or the sugar part. So there are going to be two sugars that repeat connected to one another over and over and over again and form these long chains. Uh, we have one sugar called N-acetyl muramic acid. And we have a second sugar called N-acetyl glucosamine. And here they are over here. So N-acetyl glucosamine it looks like this. Okay, so you can see this is the, the sugar structure, carbons of the main sugar chain. And then you have these little uh, side chains sticking off here uh, with a hydroxy group. There's other hydroxy groups. And then down here is this unique uh, amino group. Um, a carbonyl group uh, and a methyl group sticking off it. If you look at and compare the two structures, you can start to see now we're looking at N-acetyl muramic acid. And so for short, we usually we call these N-A-M and N-A-G. So N-A-M or the N-acetyl muramic acid and then N-A-G for the N-acetyl glucosamine. The difference you can see then is the muramic acid has some extra groups attached to it here. So uh, this oxygen uh, now has several other things attached to it. You can see uh, there's a three more carbons, a uh, methyl group here, and this one makes up a carboxyl group. All right, so um, very similar overall in structure with NAM having some uh, additional chains attached to it to make it a little more unique. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now. NAM, we said the one's a little bit different, with it is also going to have um, these little things I have here, amino acids that are going to be attached to it. All right, so it's going to be ch a chain of amino acids. So NAM has a four amino acid chain. Uh, and those four amino acids are going to be uh, alanine. Glutamic acid, lysine, and then alanine again. And that's going to repeat over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, so there's these little amino acids. That's part of the peptide kind of part of this. So now these sugars. These two sugars here are just going to be connected to one another. Uh, we'll just use this here um, with glycosidic links. So all the sugars, just NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG, just repeating over and over again with typical glycosidic linkages. And that forms one chain, one chain of sugars. Now the peptidoglycan structure is then composed of several layers of these chains. Okay, so we get one chain, NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG, and then we get a second chain, NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. So in my little drawing here, just the M's represent NAM, and the G's represent the NAG, and they alternate like this and repeat over and over and over again. I'm just drawing, I'll shake it here, I'll just draw a third, a third chain. And at this point, these three chains are totally separate, so they're just strings of sugars, and they're not connected to one another. So that's where the uh, NAM's side chain comes in with these four amino acids. So these four amino acids attached to the NAM will then also bond together. Three, four, five. So they're going to be five amino acids. And it's going to all, they're all going to be the amino acid glycine. So 
there all the, there are five glycines, so sometimes it's called a penta, pentaglycine uh, structure, and this is the bridge. Or sometimes called the peptide cross bridge. Right. Peptide cross bridge is this five amino acids of glycine that joins it together. And then this one joins together five like this. Uh, and then so got this here. That doesn't just happen at the end. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Four, and then you'll get the glycines one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. You're joining these together. Uh, each of these has those. And then the peptide cross bridge comes in, and I'm just going to draw some of these just to make it quicker. Peptide cross bridge, peptide cross bridge. So these are the, the peptide cross bridges here, now joining them together. So you, you can see now we're starting to get a, a much more sophisticated structure um, where we have chains of sugars that are joined together by these peptide cross bridges. Right? Uh, and that's what gives us the peptidoglycan. So it's part Peptide, chains of amino acids, part sugar. Now, one of the reasons why this is so important um, that you actually are familiar with the structure is because um, at some point we'll be learning how the cell wall is created, or how it's built uh, by the cell um, during the process of binary fission or cell division. So when the cell divides into two new cells, it's going to have to create more of the cell wall but in addition, it's also going to have to break some of the cell wall, um, this peptidoglycan, in order to insert new sugars so that it can grow. The enzymes involved in that process then are something that we're going to study. And in addition to that, as we talk about antibiotics and you start to study how do antibiotics affect bacteria, certain classes of antibiotics very specifically attack this peptidoglycan structure and or the proteins that are involved in building the structure. Uh, so that's something that you need to be familiar with this first before we can really um, talk about these other topics that come later on. So you should be able to just to kind of, you don't have to worry about sketching these out, but if I had the pictures drawn um, and presented to you, you would be able to tell the difference between which one was NAM and NAG. Uh, NAM is the one with the uh, sort of extra, extra side groups attached to it here. In addition to that, know that NAM is the one that has the four amino acids as the chain attached to it, the side chain of alanine, glutamic acid, lysine alanine. And that's where the peptide cross bridges form. And that the peptide cross bridges are five of the amino acid glycine um, that join to this little um, side chain that's attached to NAM or N-acetylmuramic acid. Now, uh, the other thing that we're going to study is the, the difference between um, the two major groups of bacteria, which would be the gram-positive bacteria and the gram-negative bacteria. And the gram stain is where that name comes from, where it categorizes the groups. And the stain itself functions based on the interaction of um, certain dye molecules and this peptidoglycan structure and how thick it is. Uh, and so we're going to look at next gram-positive versus gram-negative in the cell wall. Uh, they're both going to have peptidoglycan that's identical like this, except that a gram-negative bacteria may only have about three layers like this of sugar chains, whereas gram-positive bacteria will have many, maybe hundreds of, of layers of these. So a much, much thicker peptidoglycan structure will be found in gram-positive bacteria, and in gram-negative bacteria, it's going to be really, really thin. And then there's going to be other things that we'll, we'll discuss. Right? But either way, they're going to have, have the same structure. Um, archaea, which is our other group of prokaryotes, our other domain, they, uh, you'll see that they don't have a peptidoglycan. This structure, peptidoglycan, is also called murin. And what we're going to find is that the archaea have a structure called pseudomurin, which is actually going to be very similar to this. There's some modifications to the sugars, so they're, they're 
they're different, um, but largely, largely it, it will be a, a lot like this, okay? But this is our um, just back domain bacteria, cell wall, um, basic structure that's called the peptidoglycan structure.